today's vlog. I am so full. I had so many veggies. <laughs> it's 2.13. I didn't eat until like 11.30 or 12. And all I had was some hot chocolate. I made some bone broth hot chocolate. You saw the ingredients. I used some full fat coconut milk. I used half a scoop of bone broth chocolate protein. I put in some cacao powder and vanilla and it was really good. I didn't even finish the whole thing of that. But then I roasted up a ton of vegetables as you saw and I ate a lot of them and I am so full and that's literally all I've had. Um, but they were really good. I really like roasted vegetables. So today, we've just been hanging out all morning. It's James's day off and it's been really snowy and icy. You can kind of still see the snow. It's melting pretty well right now. But yes, because of that, I've kind of been trapped at home for the last few days and the roads are much better today. Today is just kind of a lazy day. So I get a lot of questions either through comments or people in real life or people message me on social media all the time asking, how are you doing? Are you still making progress? Tell me about your wins and the difference that you've seen in your life. I think some people think maybe she's not doing well, maybe she stopped making progress and people keep checking up and I just want everyone to know that I'm still making progress. I told you guys a couple of videos ago that I did have some setbacks but I'm not going to focus on those and talk about that much at all because I am back on track, I'm back to making progress, I'm seeing lots of wins but hubby? Yes? Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> I um, I'm gonna bring James over. People always want him to be in the vlogs more, and I just it's just I <laughs> oh I usually film whenever he's at work. So yeah. So I haven't really asked James like for him to share, even just to me, what he's noticed or just how he's seen me make progress. Like in the first couple days when I started to make progress, it was very clear. Like James and Mia, the college student who lives with us, they both could see a difference and I could see a huge difference. Yeah, no, you're good. No, you're good. You can be in the vlog. This is just very casual. Hi, this everyone. is Mia. <laughs> What's up? So take it away. Tell it tell the world about my progress. <laughs> Yeah, it's been really, really good. I mean, it's, you know, the first couple of months of the DNRS, it was just so up and to the right, dramatic exponential improvement to where Mandy was, had way more energy, wasn't in as much pain, was sleeping better, was back to eating the right foods. There were a couple of setbacks yes. in between that and then today, but man, those setbacks are further and fewer between and they're less severe than they've ever been in the past. Mm -hmm. And I mean, she's at Switch every single Wednesday night, leading a Switch group. She's coming to church with me every single weekend. She's all passionate about starting a garden in the backyard. And yes. all of these things are huge I haven't indicators. announced that to my vlog yet. Oh, well. <laughs> no, it's okay. Announced. <laughs> uh, so all these are just some mm -hmm. really big and cool indicators of how much she has been improving you know obviously there's still challenges along the way but the progress has been phenomenal i'm gonna cry <laughs> can i just say something to you yes I really so i was sitting on the floor um <laughs> so my stepmom has really uh similar if not almost exactly uh health issues as mandy and i just needed people to know that she's also made me very helpful for my mother because mandy just does so much research 
and reads all the time and she's just always <laughs> trying to do something to improve and if something's not working she's just immediately trying to figure out what differently she can do and what she was currently doing isn't helping so it's just it's really all about determination and wanting to do and seeing yourself succeeding in that mm -hmm. and Mandy is just a really good example of always someone who's just always has this drive for getting herself better and so she's an inspiration come here <laughs> oh okay i'm out okay oh my heart <laughs> that's cool thank you both of you for sharing oh, can you still see me yeah you can still see me. yeah <laughs> it's kind of fun anyways i thought it'd be cool for them to share and makes me emotional it's really cool knowing that they that james has obviously seen a big difference but there's been a lot of cool wins i haven't been able to talk about or i haven't shared about on here just like last week i went and did a yoga class and like it went really well and i modified some but really didn't have to modify a lot and you know back three or four months ago i tried doing like chronic illness yoga and if even like there's like chronic illness yoga on youtube and even just like a downward dog against the wall would send me into a huge flare at this yoga class i like kept crying and just because it was like so powerful and such a huge like significant win for me anyways i really i appreciate what mia shared because if anything for people who watch my videos that deal with health issues or chronic illness or you know any kind of challenge whatsoever that i can be some kind of inspiration or motivation to do the work to do the research and to have the discipline to try things because i really believe that for pretty much any condition out there there is possibility to make progress if not heal that is all I'll continue filming later, we'll see. Wait, are you not gonna give the announcement on your... Oh, announcement what James shared? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's an announcement. I am very excited. You guys know I love vegetables. Ovs. You're going carnivore. I'm going. <laughs> I'm gonna be a carnivore. I am gonna start a little mini garden in our backyard. I know nothing about gardening at all. I've been even just recently working on in the last few months, like learning how to keep a basil plant alive. But I've been watching all kinds of YouTube videos. I've been reading about it. I'm gonna start small and start a little vegetable garden. So I'm very excited. It's gonna be good. So maybe I'll document some of that process. And one day I'll have a very huge and legit garden and I'll go and take all of my veggies to the farmer's market and sell it. And it'll be great. Hello, it's the next day since you last saw. <laughs> just hello. Got a, hello, I just got a funny look from you. Um, it's the next day, uh, it is the last day, it is the last day. It is the next day, it is the day after. It's the day after the clip that you just saw. <laughs> I can edit that and no one would know, but. <laughs> Bloopers. Anyways, it is the day after the clip that you just saw. <laughs> and Mia and I, Say hi. We just got back from Natural Grocers and I didn't want to do like a full out intense grocery haul because that can take a long time. But I always love showing you what I get because I always like seeing what people get from the grocery store. Last week I only spent $50 at the grocery store. So this week I got a ton of food, lots of veggies, lots of good stuff. Let me just do a quick overview to show you. Okay, wow. This is my beautiful little setup here to show you what I got really quick. I try to buy little packaged foods, lots of whole foods. I got lots of produce, a whole bunch of mushrooms. Um, here's some organic walnuts. These are really high in omega-3s. I like these a lot. I got some um, pasture-raised eggs, a whole bunch of local sweet potatoes, some romaine, broccoli, cauliflower. This was a huge cauliflower and it was on sale, which is amazing. I got like six tins of sardines. I used to say I just eat sardines for the nutrients, but I'm not gonna lie guys, I really like sardines now. Like I'm embracing it and I am sharing it with the world, <laughs> shouting it out. I love sardines and I don't care who knows it. <laughs> so I got some wild tuna as well, some goat cheese, 
couple packs of Miracle Noodles, a couple yellow onions, a red onion, some more chicken stock, got some of this bacon. This is James's favorite salsa. I needed more avocado oil, so I got this one. Sweet potato chips are on sale, and these ones are amazing, so of course I had to get two. Um, some salmon fillets, love salmon. And then some random frozen cauliflower, broccoli, and then this is one of my new favorite little blends. It's rice cauliflower with sweet potatoes and kale. I'm gonna have this tonight in a little burrito bowl kind of thing with some local grass-fed beef. And yes, these are my foods, They're all babies. kinds of them. My babies, they'll turn into my food babies, but. Are you ready for this? It's beautiful. My greens, I had to make it nice and pretty since, you know. This is Mia's section right here. Egg, sauerkraut, random. All kinds of stuff, it's beautiful. This isn't even that well organized, but it's, we it's stocked. We are getting ready to go to my sister's dance recital. I just cooked up some dinner. Tonight we're doing some basically just homemade burrito bowls. This is one of our favorite, just easy go-tos. It's simple, it's easy to change up, and burrito bowls are delicious. So I wanna show you how we're doing it today. So in my Kasori pressure cooker. I cooked up some jasmine rice for James. He loves jasmine rice. It's a little bit dark over here, sorry about that. But this is that rice cauliflower sweet potato kale blend that I told you about. This will be the base of my bowl. We've got some local grass-fed beef in here that we'll use, and then I've got a bunch of those leftover roasted veggies and added some kale to it also. Most likely James will add it to his bowl because my bowl will be filled with veggies already. And then I'm probably gonna add a few of these siete grains free tortilla chips to mine. It adds a really nice crunch to it. Ta-da! Ta-da! Who doesn't love seeing other people's food on YouTube? So, so satisfying.